The End of the World is Just the Beginning, Mapping the Collapse of Globalization, by Peter Zeehan, is a forward-looking analysis that examines the unfolding forces which are leading to the end of globalization as we know it and the impacts this will have on countries and societies worldwide. Zeehan's core argument revolves around the impending breakdown of the international trade system, which has been underpinned by guarantees of security and open waterways provided by the United States Navy since the end of World War II. In Zihan's view, this global order, commonly known as the Bretton Woods system, is in the process of disintegrating due to shifting demographics, changes in political priorities, advancements in technology, and evolving energy dynamics. With the aging of the baby boomer generation, declining birth rates, and the growing reluctance of the United States to act as the world's policeman, the stability provided by the American security umbrella is no longer reliable. This is leading nations to reconsider their security arrangements and trade partnerships, as they can no longer take American protection for granted. Zihan presents the thesis that the end of this globalized system will lead to a more chaotic and fragmented world. This will manifest as countries become more inward-looking and protectionist, seeking to secure their own supply chains and resources rather than relying on international trade. The interconnectedness that defined the late 20th and early 21st centuries will give way to a series of regional power blocks and local conflicts. The book discusses how manufacturing will be reshaped, with countries either trying to reintegrate production chains back within their own borders or forming regional trading blocks to maintain some semblance of economic integration. Advanced economies with stable systems and resources, like the United States, will be best positioned to handle this transition, while nations dependent on exports or imports will struggle to adapt. Countries like China, which have thrived under globalization due to their role in manufacturing and assembly, will face significant challenges as shrinking export markets and the need for overseas resources like food and oil become more acute. Another critical factor Zihan delves into is the energy transition from fossil fuels to renewables, which will play a significant role in shaping future trade patterns. As countries like the United States become more self-sufficient in energy due to shale, oil, and gas, and as the move towards renewable energy sources accelerates, the importance of Middle Eastern oil, and thus the geopolitical dynamics of that region, will diminish. Demographic trends also feature heavily in Zehan's analysis. Nations with younger populations will have the potential for economic growth and expansion, provided they can create the necessary economic structures to capitalize on their demographic dividends. In contrast, aging populations in countries like Japan and many in Europe will lead to economic contraction and necessitate different policy responses. Zihan further explores the geopolitical consequences of the breakdown of globalization. He predicts increased tensions and the possibility of military conflicts as nations jostle for position and resources in a more self-interested world environment. Nationalism and regionalism will rise as global cooperation wanes. As part of this transition, supply chains will become more localized which will be especially problematic for industries that rely heavily on complex international supply networks like the automotive and electronics industries. Technology will play a role in mitigating some of these impacts, but it cannot completely offset the losses. In terms of agriculture, the alteration of trade patterns will have significant repercussions. Countries that currently depend on food imports will face a major challenge, which might lead to political instability, social unrest, and food shortages. Conversely, agricultural exporters who can maintain production will gain leverage and power on the world stage. Zihan points out that financial systems will be disrupted as countries attempt to shield themselves from the volatility of a world without a clear international trading framework. The days of easy credit and complex financial products spanning the globe may be numbered, with more conservative financial practices taking their place. Finally, the book warns of the potential for a rise in authoritarianism as governments struggle to manage the economic dislocation and provide security in an increasingly disorderly world. The collapse of globalization might result in a tougher international arena where nations are more likely to take unilateral actions to secure their interests. 
Throughout the book, Zehan presents a detailed and nuanced view of the future, backed by a wealth of geopolitical, economic, and demographic data. While he outlines a stark vision of the challenges ahead, he also identifies potential areas of opportunity for countries that manage to navigate the complexities of this transformation effectively. Overall, Zihan's narrative is a blend of sobering analysis and strategic forecasting, offering readers a glimpse into a world where the relative peace and prosperity brought about by globalization are replaced by uncertainty and a fight for self-sufficiency. The message is clear. The end of the world as shaped by globalization is just the beginning of a new chapter in human history, one that each country will experience differently based on its unique strengths and vulnerabilities. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.